students today i am going to teach you how to memorize the formula of trigonometry in multiple angle chapter and then sub multiple angle so to memorize all this formula i will give you some clue if you learn two or three formula then other you can make the chain of the formula and from those three formula you can make the chain and then memorize all other so here are so many formula this is multiple angle this is sub multiple angle so here are the formula and if you can see all the formulas here all together 14 formula you can see here so all these formula how to memorize that i am going to teach you before that do not forget to subscribe our this channel so that you can get other clips also and other important solution of trigonometry as well as other chapter also so first of all look at here sine 2a equals to 2 sine a times cos a this one you need to remember first of all then other one more formula cos 2a also cos 2a equals to cos square a minus sine square a this also you need to remember then after remembering this cos square a minus sine square a, here some of the students will get confusion whether sine square a minus cos square a or cos square a minus sine square a, which one will come first. So simply you can remember cos and sine. In terms of, in case of cos and sine, which will come first in dictionary? In dictionary obviously C will come first. So cos is in the front, sine is at the back side. So you can remember like this. Now another formula of cos 2a is cos 2a cos 2a equals to here put 2 here and in place of sign put 1 so you'll get another formula 2 cos square a minus 1 look at it in front of cos square a you put 2 and remove this sign square a write down 1 you will get formula of cos 2 in terms of cos similarly another formula cos 2a equals to see cos 2a equals to here again if you put remove this cos and write down here and then in front of a sign if you put 2 you will get another formula of cos 2a see, in terms of sine so 1 minus 2 sine square a how is coming here 2 and then here 1 instead of cos square a 1 and here 2 sine square 1 minus 2 sine square a formula of sine two, uh, cos 2a in terms of sine and if you put here 2 and replace this side by 1, then 2 cos square minus 1 is the formula of cos 2a. So you can remember like this, all 3. If you learn 1, this also is very easy. See, cos will be in the front because in dictionary cos will come before sine. So cos is square a minus sine is square a. Easily you can remember. After remember this, this 2 automatically see. Put here 2 and 1, you will get 2 cos square minus 1 in terms of cos. And in terms of sine, put here 2 and then here 1. Then 1 minus 2 sin square a will be the formula of cos 2a in terms of sine. Now, if you transpose here, 1 if you transpose this side, what will you get? 1 plus cos 2a? Yes. So write down here. 1 plus cos 2a equals to, what it is? 2 cos square a. 2 cos square a. Yes. Similarly here also. If you transpose this sign, two signs are at this side, and cos 2a this side, this cos 2a to the right side, and this to the left side, what you'll get here? 1, if you transfer this one this side, 1 minus cos 2a, so you'll get a 1 minus cos 2a. See, if you cos 2a, if you bring this side, 1 minus cos 2a, and 2 sin square a, if you transfer to the left side, you'll get here 2 sin square a, 2 sin square a. These are very, very important two formulae. Then now, how, when to apply this formula, look at here. So, there are three formula for cos 2a. Cos 2a means cos square a minus sin square a. Cos 2a means 2 cos square a minus 1. Cos 2a means 1 minus 2 sin square a. Now, in our question, if we get 1 plus cos 2a, cos 2a one formula, which one will apply? This or this or this? We may get confusion. Here, which one do we will apply? And here, which one will apply? We'll get confusion. So, to avoid that confusion, if there is one with cos 2a, always remember this formula. 
1 plus cos 2a, 2 cos 2a, directly we will put, no need to put the formula of cos 2a. And 1 minus cos 2a, directly 2 sin is greater, you can write. It will be very easy. Not only that, sometimes we have to convert cos square a in terms of multiple angle. Sin square a in terms of multiple angle, we have to convert. In that condition, what we will do, this 2 you bring this side, here, divided by 2, see. Then cos square a means 1 plus cos 2a by 2. If you need to change cos square a in terms of multiple angle, then use this one. Cos square a equal to 1 plus cos 2a by 2. And sin square a equal to, you bring this to this side, then you will get 1 plus cos 2a by 2. 1 minus cos 2a by 2. So sin square a equal to 1 minus cos 2a by 2. So to change sin square a in multiple angle, use this one. To change cos square a in multiple angle, use this one. So, these two formula we can use in two ways. Clear? So, 1 plus cos 2a equals to 2 cos 2a. If cos 2a, we have to change into a only. Then we will use 1 plus cos 2a means 2 cos 2a. 1 minus cos 2a, 2 sin a. But if you have to change a into 2a, multiple angle, then cos square a means 1 plus cos 2a by 2. Sin square is 1 minus cos 2 by 2. So, in two ways we can apply these two formula. Now, after this, I will tell you the formula of tan 2a. Okay, yeah? tan 2a equals to 2 tan a divided by 1 minus tan square a. This is the formula tan 2a. So, till now, what we have memorized, look at it. First of all, sin 2a. And cos 2a, one formula will memorize, or other all will make chain. All these in the in same chain will put. Now, third one we need to memorize this one. See, now after learning this tan 2a equal to 2 tan a by 1 plus 1 minus tan square a, now we can write the formula of sin 2a and cos 2a in terms of tan easily. Look at here, I will show you. Now, first of all, sin 2a, sin 2a formula in terms of tan. If you want to write, then 2 tan a this as it is same as in tan 2a so replace this minus by plus you will get 1 plus tan square a this is the formula of sin 2a in terms of tan similarly now formula of cos 2a in terms of tan also we can write in the same way look at it so to write formula of cos 2a in terms of tan look at it this is 1 minus tan square a this is 1 plus tan square in numerator you put this one denominator you put this one you will get the formula for cos 2a c 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a it's coming like this see this 1 minus tan square i'm bringing here and this 1 plus tan square is bringing here clear so formula of sin 2a and cos 2a in terms of tan are these two these are the two formula and tan 2a we have already written here. Now after writing the formula tan 2a, I will tell you how to learn the formula cot 2a also. Look at here from here. Cot 2a equals to always formula of tan and cot it will be uh, tan and cot they are reciprocal to each other. So reciprocal means numerator will come to the denominator, denominator will reach to the numerator. So what we will do, this pattern will go up and this pattern will come down. And since we have to replace tan into cot, then this will also change. So it will be like this. Cot square A minus 1 divided by 2 cot A. This is the formula cot 2A. Look at it. This pattern will go to the numerator. This numerator pattern will come to the denominator. Yes. And this one, only this will change into uh, the front one will go to the back one, back one will be in the front one side. So you can write like this, cot 2a formula also, you can remember. Now I will tell you how to learn the formula 3a also. In case of 3a also, let us learn the formula of sin 3a first of all. Sin 3a. Sin 3a formula, to learn formula of sin 3a, since it is the formula of 3a, 3 will come first of all. So formula sin 3a will be in terms of sin, so we'll write here sin a. 3 sin a minus, after 3 what will come? 4 will come. 4, now sin cube a. This is the formula sin 3a. 
This is the formula sin 3 AC. 3 sin A minus cos 3 A is the formula sin 3 A. Now, if you know formula sin 3 A, easily you can write cos 3 A formula also. Look at here. Cos 3 A. Just you interchange these two patterns. This pattern, this front one pattern to the back side and back one to the front side. And replace sin by cos. So, what will be there? 4 will come here. 4 cos cube A minus 3 cos A is the formula of cos 3. So easily we can remember like see. So after learning one of them, another we can write easily see. Only one we need to memorize, other will come automatically. Clear? Is that clear? So now I will tell you the formula of tan 3 years also. Tan 3 years. Now you need to learn this tan 3 formula one more, right? Then after that, cot 3 you can write automatically so tan 3a formula is in case of tan 3 also as in sin 3a this is formula 3a so 3 will come first of all and tan will be in terms of tan only tan a minus 4 will not be, will not be there there here tan cube a tan cube a but there will be denominator also fraction will be there so 1 minus 3 tan square a this is the formula of tan 3a now, if you know the formula of tan 3a, cot 3a you can write easily. Cot 3a. Look at it. Cot 3a is replace all tan in terms of cot. You will get answer. So, 3 cot a minus cot cube a divided by 1 minus 3 cot square a. This is the formula of cot 3a. So, in this way, all multiple angle formula we can memorize easily and then apply wherever we need it. So to apply also, I have already told you, there are many formula for cos 2a. For example, see cos 2a, cos 2a equals to, see, cos 2a equal to cos 2a minus sin 2a, cos 2a equal to 2 cos 2a minus 1, cos 2a equals to 1 minus 2 sin square a. Another cos 2a, cos 2a equal to 1 minus tan 2a by 1 plus tan 2a. So to avoid confusion, if we have to get the answer in terms of tan, apply this one. See, in terms of tan, you apply. So, if there is cos 2a with 1, look at it, cos 2a with 1, what we need to do? If there is formula of cos 2a, cos 2a is with 1, 1 plus cos 2a, 2 cos 2a, 1 minus cos 2a, 2 sin square a. Already I have told you. Now, similarly, if we need to get answer, if there is no 1, but we have to get answer in terms of cos, then apply this one. If we have to get answer in terms of sine, apply this one. If we need both sometimes, uh, a square minus b square formula, we have to apply and we can cancel one of them. In such condition, we can use this one. So in this way, we can use the formula also uh, accordingly in trigonometry. So now, students, do not forget to subscribe our channel. Then so that you can get another videos to solve the problems related to trigonometry not only trigonometry other mathematical chapters also you will get so don't forget to subscribe